How's it going everybody? So today I would like to share a somewhat unusual observation I made. So this is a large barrel sponge, obviously underwater. I filmed this in the Philippines and it's completely covered in the sea cucumbers of the genus Synaptula. So there's also a juvenile lionfish here hiding in that sponge, a butterfly fish, and you can see that the, the sea cucumbers completely cover the sponge. So, you know, these are really different animals from the sand feeding sea cucumbers which are big and sturdy so they're only about a, a centimeter in diameter probably 20 centimeters long they're very soft and squishy and i believe they feed on suspended matter and i've seen them on sponges before but never uh, in these densities now this leaves the question of course is this a natural occurrence or is this due to some perturbance of the marine ecosystem which caused them to grow to such high densities? And the other question, of course, is what's the relationship between the sea cucumbers and the sponge? Are they just living on top of the sponge? Are they commensals? Or is there some kind of symbiosis or parasitism going on? Maybe I've missed some of the scientific literature on that. Then please let me know. Otherwise, I'd love to discuss this further. Now, curiously, when we got to that sponge, there was a large green turtle. And even that turtle, which was probably feeding on the sponge, was covered in the sea cucumbers when it left us. So, a curious observation. There's always something to learn pretty much on every single dive. Now, what you should do, of course, is to buy my book. So there's your brain on diving about the changes in brains when you're underwater. And then there's the lives of gobies, which is about this fascinating group of small, very biodiverse fishes. Thank you.